For this week's Sports Star Spotlight, we're headed to New Jersey, where Joe McCann will tell you about one of the top prospects in women's basketball. Hello, Joe. About an hour south of the hustle and bustle of New York City, you'll find the quiet borough of Red Bank, New Jersey. It features some pretty peaceful views along the Navasink River, and also features one of the best girls basketball players in the country. She has that rare combination that scouts look for in elite basketball prospects. Justine Passat has terrific size at 6'4", but she's also outstanding as a ball handler and shooter on the perimeter. She's a very difficult matchup. You put your guard on her and you try to deny her on the perimeter, she can go down on a little block and post you up. You put your big kid on her, you know, so she can't post you up and she's going by you off the dribble. So, you know, it, she, she's a nightmare. Growing up, I would watch all the time. I would watch Brianna Stewart, Deladon, and I would always consider myself like I always want to be like them. And I thought like with my height, I was like them. So I just felt like going that path would make me successful. The more and more people know that I'm a shooter, I need to do other things instead of just being able to shoot. So. Every day in the gym, I would get my shots up, but then I would also spend hours and hours working on ball handling and stuff. When everyone's out partying or whatever, I'd always have to make sacrifices to work in the gym and get better. The desire to put in work to improve is something Justine has always had. It began back when she was competing with her twin sister, Gia, when they were young, and it's continued to today when she's either giving it all she has in high school or showcasing her talents in the summer against some of the best players in the country. I think the thing with her is her love for the game. You know, she's improved so much because of her passion. She's, she's one of the rare kids in this day and age that's not afraid to be different and not afraid to be passionate. She is a really just a great, great worker. And you know, her offensive game is outstanding. She's the best shooter that I've ever coached. Her range is unlimited at 6'4". You know, she's just a tremendous shooter. Um, she's improved the rest of her game, her offense and defense. Her passion for being not just good, her passion for being excellent is what impresses me the most. I love it. I mean, I can't tell you the last time I've been out. I feel like all my friends tell me to go out with them and I just, I'm never out. I'm always in the gym, getting shots up, watching film, doing whatever. I love it. Justine is one of the senior leaders for a talented Red Bank Catholic team that has its eyes on a championship this year. Fortunately, she has plenty of talent around her, including Boston College commit Allie Carmen. Me and Justine have always been together, and playing together is great because you have a threat outside and a threat inside. So the defense kind of has to make a decision who you're going to go and double team because if you don't double team one of us, then it's not going to go so well. <laughs> Coach realizes that me and Allie are very deadly together. Um, our ball screen, her ability to roll, catch the ball fast and finish it is going to be hard for people to guard. And I just feel like we both want it and it's just going to work out great for us this year. When it came to her recruitment, Justine certainly wanted a coach who was as passionate about the game as she is. And she made a strong connection with Coach Kelly Harper when she visited the University of Tennessee. We sat in her office, we were just talking a little, and she pulls out this huge paper. And it's a blueprint of how, if I were to go to Tennessee, the accomplishments I would get, all the things I would do, and I just thought it was amazing. Like, I was sitting next to my mom and I was like, I was like, Mom, I'm having a tear in my eye right now, this is amazing. So we went home, drive back home, and I was like, Dad, I think this is the school. I love that she played at Tennessee and now is the coach there. Her love for the game is amazing, just like mine, so. You know, to be able to play in a legendary program like that, with that history and, you know, where that program was, I think is just a great honor for Justine. But I, I think they're gonna use her the right way, and I think they'll, um, they'll give her an opportunity to be successful. Justine won't be the only member of her family playing college basketball next year. Her sister Gia, who had previously stepped away from basketball to pursue golf, rediscovered a love for the game when practicing against Justine during the pandemic. And Gia is now committed to play basketball at the Naval Academy. When COVID hit and we had to like shut down, the golf courses were closed and everything, so she just played basketball as much as I did and now she's going to play at Navy, so. I'm actually glad she came out and worked with me. Five days a week we would work out outside in the park and just get after each other. Um, playing one-on-one -on -one was really competitive. We never wanted to lose. I never wanted to lose. She never wanted to lose. We would end up in some fights, but it was great. The future certainly seems bright for this five-star prospect, and she could be playing the game for a while. She's a different cat. She's a worker, so I I'm excited about where she could be going forward. I want to win all four years at Tennessee or make it to the Final Four all four years. 
After that, play overseas or play pro in the WNBA. That's always been a dream of mine. Being in the Olympics is a dream. And then after that, I would want to be a college coach or something to be involved with basketball still. So whether she's on the court or on the sideline, Justine's love for basketball isn't going away anytime soon. In Red Bank, New Jersey, I'm Joe McCann. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.